Hello everyone and welcome. <laughs> I'd probably just start uh, started wrong. Hello everyone and welcome. This is Dishonored 2. This is the episode 2 of it and we've just left the safe house. If you can hear hammering in the background, they're fixing the fire door. I don't think it should be too loud, but you know, it could be. Um, it shouldn't have too much effect on us though. Um, so... I mean, I can hear that, so I imagine you probably can. Anyway, let's have a look. Uh, in so we just escaped, and the first guard that we got the ring of, we um, we locked him away. We didn't kill him, you know, because this is a pacifist playthrough. We're not killing anyone. If we kill anyone uh, by accident, then we are going to have to restart. So. Okay, so in 1631, Emperor Finley Monogard uh, commissioned the first fleet vessels made expressively for the hunting and processing of whales. They were powered by sailors alone and were so at the mercy of the winds. Although these whaling ships were small by current standards, Mon Mon Morgengard's Mon fleet established the robust whaling trade we still enjoy today. Modern, modern whaling vessels are much larger, larger and use steam power to traverse the seas in search of whales. Did you know that every part of the beast is used? In addition to the canned meat and whale oil, there's also a flourishing whalebone trade. The lean is used in roofing, whale skins are processed in a crude cloth, bladders are made into wine flasks, even the intestines are carefully harvested for their precious ambergris, used in many me medicines and perfumes. Uh, so there's a note at the end of it. Emily, half of uh, Morgan Guard's whalers fell to the rough coast east of Morley. You can still see the remains of ships poking out of the water should you ever visit Arun. Also, there is no mention here that it was Sokolov himself who designed the first theme piled whaling ships. He'll tell you all about it if you ask any sober. What would my old governess say? Callista would probably tell me to sit up straight and to marry Wyman. She'd ask me when the War of the Four Crowns ended. 1625. Alright. Expensive. Expensive, expensive photo. Alright, so this is Dunwall Tower. Uh, over a century, Dunwall Tower has been the capital of the Isle of Bristol and the seat of power across all the islands of the Empire. Rules have come and gone each adding something to the structure. Gardens, observatories, new walls, pools, and specialised interior chambers to suit their needs and whims. Dunwall Tower has withstood numerous wars, several large-scale fires, and the collapse and rebuilding of the Northern Wing. With Tivia and Sokonos joining the Empire first, it was Morley that resisted the longest. Some of the conflicts that arise also ne necessitate the further fortification of the tower. Repeated assassination attempts near the end of the conflict with Morley resulted in the creation of the Royal Protector position, with each ruler choosing his or own Royal Protector after careful consideration. So Colvo is obviously um, the Royal Protector of Emily Caldwin. No, oh, no, Jessamine Caldwin. We are, we are playing Emily. Uh, okay, so this is an excerpt from a book, Light Empress. Uh, okay, so Perhaps in retrospect, other historians will see how easy it was for us to fall into the trap set by the schemers who managed the assassination of Empress Jessamine Caldwin. By allowing them to react to write history, it was for years thought that her trusted protector Corvo Atano was also her murderer, a concept we know to be utterly false. Yet even after the tricksters themselves were put down, banished or imprisoned, it remained common knowledge that the royal protector was also Jessamine's murderer. What? How nicely they arranged this history for us, and how readily we devoured their stories, hungry for each perfectly cooked morsel. But it is well past time for us to set aside this play of lies. The schemers were not to be trusted with the Empire, or with Jessamine's life, and they are certainly not to be trusted with the writing down of accurate histories. Yeah, so you see, like, how <laughs> like the politics and the stories so spinned from far from the truth. I, like, I seriously doubt, like, 
but the um we're we're the ones who did the clockwork killings. Yeah, I mean they wouldn't put any any guards out here, but you never know. So this is Dunwall. Let's take a look around. I've got to get away. I should talk to the captain of that ship. It's pretty. I don't. I don't remember seeing that tower actually. I mean, it's been a while actually since I played the first. This on it been like at least a few years. Um. So yeah, pretty cool. Pretty pretty cool. Okay, I'm pretty sure we have to go down here. Okay, so it's kind of somehow Delilah turned my father to stone. I will find a way to undo it. That obviously means she didn't kill him. Oh shit. Wait, so... Oh, nice. You're not fit for the watch uniform. I wonder if it loots them when we carry them. But not everyone has loot anyway. Is this electrified? I wonder if we can if we can jump on it. The city is crawling with the Duke's men. Listen up, I have bad news. Ramsey's missing. Corporal Moore checked the royal quarters, and Emily Caldwin has apparently fled the tower. We've got to find her. That's it, you've got your orders. Spread out and find the fugitive. We're in this with the Duke of Circano sink or swim. There's no way to turn back now. Right. So then three are going that way. We I don't know if we can assassin drop this guy. Probably not. But this looks like a probably a good time to um to go for something. So I don't know if they saw us. Looks like they did. He's coming. <laughs> Wonder what I'm I want you in place just after the Duke and the new Empress make their appearance. Things will happen fast. Do your part, and there's a share of the spoils for you and the others. Turn on me now, and I'll ask the Duke to send his assassins after your dear old parents. Trust me, the so-called crown killer is the last thing they guess you want in your home. Hmm. Maltima Ramsey. She... Oh shit. Her. So can we indefinitely block then? No. Can he attack us? Yeah. Fuck. So basically taking on multiple guards is a pretty bad idea. It's a pretty bad idea in general. Um I don't think we don't have any of our powers yet at all, so we're really not in position to to protect ourselves. So I wonder where we'll go we'll continue from. The city is crawling with the Duke's men. Listen up, I have bad news. 
Ramsey's missing. Corporal Moore checked the royal quarters, and Emily Caldwin has apparently fled the tower. So we where we can go. That's it. You've got your orders. So can we go? Find the fugitive. We're in this with the Duke of Circano sink or swim. There's no way to turn back now. I guess we kind of want to get up there. We've read the letter down there. Okay, let's get here first. So, we'll read this. I don't know if we have to... I don't know if reading this stuff necessarily, like, makes a difference, but... You know, it could. So... The former Empress, Emily Caldwin, has been accused of high crimes against the state. Anyone caught harboring her is equally guilty of treason. Keys. He had keys or something, didn't he? Let's get in here first. Go to sleep, go to sleep. Damn it. Can we just run? Someone is asking for trouble over there. Attention done I mean there is no way we just run through all this. We might have to. Do they, have, do they even have guns at this point? <laughs> okay, this is somehow working, but I'm going to take it. I mean, obviously... Obviously, this is not ideal, because we're not going to get any of the loot from the scenario. But the whole point of it is to not kill anyone. So, like... So, there's some kind of shitstorm happening here in... So, like... A situation like that, because I did, this in, did stuff like that in Deus Ex, you just run through it all. Um, it is really nice though to, for example, for us to get like the potions and stuff. But um, we will get items and stuff later on in the game anyway. You want to hear what I've got to say? I guarantee it. Lady Emily, you won't get far with that face stamped on half the coins in the city. There's a coup underway, and I'm being blamed for the Crown Killer murders. I don't care what my face looks like. My name's Megan Foster. I work with an old ally of yours, Anton Sokolov. We learned something scary down in the South, and I came to warn you. I know, Anton, but Corvo's gone. The Duke of Sirkonos is here with a woman named Delilah. They massacred everyone in the throne room. Then she did something I can't explain. There was nothing to do but run. Sometimes that's all you can do. This is my ship, the Dreadful that's Whale. We, did. we can head out as soon as you're ready. I need to get to Karnaka where the Crown Killer murders started. Delilah must have been down there for a while, and I've got to figure out what's going on. You're Corvo's daughter. I'll give you that. Should we go? Can we search the ship? Soon, but not just yet. We should get out of here while we can, during the confusion. Because I don't know if we can search later on. There probably won't be a whole lot of stuff here anyway.
I'm not sure how we heal. So it's locked. I'm okay. I I'm pretty sure we'll be able to search this afterwards. So. You ready? Let's set ready. out for Karnaka. Wait, we killed one? Who the fuck did we kill? All right, so we're gonna, I'm I'm not gonna um. So we have to go for replay. Okay, interesting. Uh, I'm not gonna cut stuff like this out because, so as far as I know, basically, if we accidentally kill someone, then. Like, for example, if we dump someone's body next to a river or next to some rats, anywhere they can get, anywhere that, like, we're still responsible for the body afterwards. Same with uh, Deus Ex. Wait, we, we started here? That's annoying. Okay. start this um but yeah I, I don't want to want to cut through too much stuff when we're, when we're trying to do this playthrough it's going to take us a while uh to do this the day sec one took me a while because you notice i like get quite aggressive i think we can actually just try and run through to begin with and not engage anyone I wonder if it's also down to the fact that the guards can possibly shoot each other. Anyway, so... Books. No, we know there's nothing governess? in there. Take the Coast photo. probably tell me to sit up straight and to marry Wyman. She'd ask me when the War of the Four Crowns ended. 1625. I've got to get out of Dunwall. So he's unconscious. I don't. I wonder. We didn't kill the other guy. I'm pretty sure. We ran over. I mean, he's not in any place that he can get hurt. We need to find a ship. The city is crawling with the Duke's men. Listen up! I have bad news. Ramsey's okay. missing. Getting stuck on something. Corporal Moore checked the royal quarter. And Emily Caldwin has apparently fled the tower. We've got to find her. That's it. You've got your orders. Spread out and find the fugitive. We're in this with the Duke of Circano sink or swim. There's no way to turn back now. All right, so we'll wait for him to do his thing. Uh, some of you may question, like, why do a stealth playthrough on the first one? No. Getting so one can't even breathe no more. Hey, who is really? Kind of want to grab stuff here. Pistol bullets. She's wounded. Let's finish her. Jesus. Right, okay. Oh. 
Wait, how did that auto save? It's so weird. Let's just try that. Because I want to see if we can um, we can get anything done from that situation. The uh, the lines of sight really matter in this game. Uh, they really do. I said another thing that's very different from Deus Ex, or at least from my experience of Deus Ex. Okay, we're just gonna hightail it. Attention, Attention Dunwall citizens. citizens! As of today, Delilah Caldwin is our new empress. You aren't doing any You are not going to die! You know what to do! She can't escape! I can't escape! Because I'm too fast. Even for you I guys, to I'm just far too fast. He's unconscious. But like, I'm thinking... Oh yeah, stats. Okay, so we're still on zero kills. Someone there. I know you're here somewhere. Where is she? Lady Emily, you won't get far with that face. Stamped on half the coins in the city. Okay, so yeah, we can we can skip through. And yes, we're ready. I'm ready. Okay, there we go. Merciful. Um the ghostly one? I I don't think we're gonna even, we're not even gonna try that, so. I'm not sure how we killed a guy in the first place. I, I really don't know, because we uh, we took down three people in the in the other one. Maybe we hit a guard. Um But basically if we have to run then we're gonna run. Like I'm not gonna fight guards. Because we just don't have the the abilities to fight them just yet. Or at least fight them without killing them. Am I still aboard Megan's ship? Feels odd. Why is the door blocked? What is this place? Where am I? Oh, this is the void. Oh, that's pretty cool. Kind of interesting how it would come at this time. Because I think I think we can fall off and die and stuff here, so it's not all. I can feel something moving closer. Watching. See, it's like the devs, when they build stuff like this, they can just literally just get a paintbrush and and build. Like, they don't have to think, like, logically, like, what should make sense. Empress Emily Caldwin, I am a friend of your father's from the bad old days. I never expected us to meet. I watched your mother die at the hands of schemers who wanted your little empire. Then you were rescued by a man in a strange mask. I thought that was the end of the excitement. But someone yanked the rug from under your feet. You've lost your throne and your father. And I promise, Delilah won't just give them back. So, what are you prepared to do about it? Your Imperial Majesty, <laughs> so and are you clever enough to do it without spilling a river of blood? We are, that's what I we're going to try. questions 15 years ago. This is the moment that changed him. Now it's your turn. No, we're, we're going for the... we're getting the mark. You 
burns from the inside. I feel like I'm standing at the edge of something. All the stories, they're true. Rapidly pull yourself towards the time. Oh, this is um, this is basically like blink. Uh, fire, which is also useful for avoiding enemies. Aim the power at the ground or in a structure in front of you to pull yourself rapidly. Just move to the glass. Move through glass, breaking it. If the power is used in self mode, your movement ends for, without further fall of momentum. The mana cost using power is low, so the recharging portion of the mana bar will allow you to far reach even when you have no elixirs. Upgrading this power is basic functionality. If you are falling, time is slowed as you aim far reach. <clears throat> oh, so you can pull objects and pull enemies. Now that is cool. Incredible. This is how I'm going to save my father and reclaim the throne. Who's this? I think our um, elixir regens here as well. What is that? It feels familiar. So the heart, as you'll see in the game, allows you to hear stuff. Know you? Do you remember? It's been so long, and you've been through so much, even as an echo of myself. It's good to know you're there, mother. You're here, but you're not here. In my hand, but somewhere else. Only the last of my essence with you for a while. If only I could reach across this great expanse and take you into my arms. But I have this to offer. My gift and my curse. Summon me to your hand, and I will guide you when I can. Look up in the heart in the left hand, helps you locate bone charms or runes. The heart will begin to beat and glow when you are facing a bone charm or rune, and will beat faster as you get closer. The heart will whisper secrets if you press LT at particular locations or while looking at a person. So it's basically how you um, discover stuff in the game. We already have a marker though for this. Normally we'd have to, uh, to go searching. Who is Delilah really? How could she? I don't understand. She shouldn't be here. No one should. And in thousands of years, few have seen this place. Three were empresses. So I'm pretty sure this is how we unlock our abilities. There's no one quite like Delilah. I watched her pull herself up from blood and filth until she was in a position to steal from the wisest scholars in the Empire. Survival and ambition, art and magic, with a cunning that makes fawning sycophants of those around her, all of it leading to what you saw at Dunwall Tower. Delilah's playing the long game. She took all the abuse the world could deal out, and now she has a crown. But I'll let you in on a secret. She's got her eyes set on a much greater prize. Okay, so we're going to meet with Megan Foster and discuss a plan of action before taking the skip to Kanaka. 
Pretty cool. So, yeah, it's like a... The world's kind of weird, but it's also, like, really cool at the same time. How it's, uh, like, all designed. It's like a void that people will visit. Almost like... It's not even portrayed as heaven or hell in the game. It's, it's kind of like... When I was it's an extra place. Old, bored with my lessons. I dreamed about sword fighting and sailing the ocean. Now I'm realizing that the world is stranger than I ever imagined. Everything I know has been turned on its head, but I'm dealing with it the best I can. When you look at the great jeweled map at Dunwall Tower, Karnaka is the southernmost port in the Empire. A fat, red ruby. That's how I always thought of it. Up close, the city smells like the ocean and strange spices. Up close, it's a tangled story of blood and ambition. The birthplace of my father. Megan Foster is a stranger, but there's something that makes me want to trust her, despite her guarded disposition. She got me out of Dunwall, and I need answers. Delilah and the Duke made me look like a murderer, using the crown killer to butcher my political adversaries. They took what was mine. And I'm gonna get it back. When you think about it though, by butchering her adversaries, they would butcher future adversaries. So it makes actually sense for them to do that, because they get a frame for it, and then they remove competition, people who would speak out against a sudden revolution like that. It's not what you're used to, living in a palace, but this is all the coins I could scrape up. Anton and I operated on a tight budget, and guess what? Now you, now you do too. If it's not beneath you, pick up whatever valuables you find along your way. We'll need ammo and resources to take down the people behind the coup. Hidden all over the city, there are underground black market shops. Look for a symbol depicting two hands, which means there's a shop nearby. Follow the signs, they'll guide you. Buying from the black market is against the law, but it could make the difference against the Duke's military. Sokolov was working on the crossbow as a gift for you. If you need it modified, those shops can help you with that as well. Megan. So I don't know if we can calibrate this for non-lethal, but if we can, that would be amazing. Like having a ranged non-lethal would be really, really strong. Because uh, <laughs> like if you know anything about Deus Ex, basically having stun, stun guns makes it a lot easier. Okay, maintenance list. Repair things that got busted up in Anton's room when he's when he was taken. It's been weeks now. No, scratch that. Not till I bring you home as a show of faith that he'll be coming back. Unlock the unblock the storage door. Looks like something fell on the other side. I really need to sell this stuff locked up in there to make some coin. Pay the port tax and look the other way. Fees to those grand bas uh, grand guard bastards. They wonder who my passenger is this time. I'll do it when I get the money. Okay. Just a maintenance list. So this is this door is blocked. Oh, so some stuff in there we can sell. That's interesting. So if we those around you cannot see me. I am here and not here when you call to me. This is some shit. I like to explore, <laughs> as, you, as you guys will see. Um, it's pretty cool. Rats. Long crossbow bolts. Trying to fix the secondary engine. Uh, Anton, your idea of improving the head gasket ceiling with a uh, guano coat is the worst you ever had. 
I'll make you sleep in the engine room if you don't fix your mess by tomorrow. Uh, Megan, if all investors were delicate and as short-tempered as you are, and I'd be still paddling around in carved-out logs. Megan, I made some mulberry cake. It's my own recipe, improved by Tivian Spices. I left it in the gallery. And where are you, you old fool? I hope nobody hurts you. I'll find you. I swear, I miss you. Okay. So, guess... Trying to fix another engine, I guess. I don't know how we're going to get down there, but... Maybe that's actually outside the ship? That's a possibility. You're up. When you're ready to talk, I'll tell you what I know. So, we've got some food. If we know. Run out of health. It's unlikely on the ship. It's actually surprisingly... Uh, decently surprised, uh, supplied. Wow, worse lighting than siege. Holy shit. Okay, so the Shindade gift study by Mora Clipswitch. Uh, on the effect of the winds on the Kanakana, uh, Kanakan landmass and resulting economic positions, whale oil, liquid power. How astonishing that within those beasts, the oil, oil harvested along with their flesh was enough to power the isles through these uh, tumultuous years. As m and it's all seem limitless, but now the lights begin to dim. Our fisher folks say the great beasts are increasingly rare. I mean, that's basically just fishing for you. Uh, not all places will suffer this loss equally, fellow natural philosophers. Kanaka has a unique feature, the cleft in Shinade Peak, for which the winds are channeled and amplified. As whale oil begins to run short, with the cost of finding the remaining Levivians. Leviathans? <laughs> Escalating beyond the worth of the oil itself, Karnika will find itself ascendant among the isles. So I'm not sure what this is. What this means. Maybe it's because if the wind is channeled, uh, it will send the whales towards them and they have an easier time fishing. We've been en route for two weeks. I hope Sokolov is alright. Wherever he is. Okay, so this is what we've read before. Karnaka looks pretty from a distance, but it's a city on the way down. Let's have a and briefing. The flies are bad this year. Let's see what the heart says, though. She's, She's almost as secretive as you. All right, you've explained part of it, but what were you and Sokolov doing here? The old man loved Karnaka, but he'd caught wind of a conspiracy tied to the Crown Killer. He wanted to warn Corvo. There are reports about tensions rising, corruption, street violence. I didn't give it much mind. Usually the local authorities resolve that sort of thing. The new duke has let things slide. But Sokolov concluded he might be the head of the conspiracy. He came in looking shocked, and if you've heard his after-dinner stories, you know that's unusual. We were going to set up for Dunwall, but something happened. The Crown Killer. Yes, the hatch ripped open and Sokolov screamed. All I caught was a glimpse of someone carrying him across the deck. I followed as long as I could toward Adermeyer Institute. It's run by the alchemist Hypatia. Maybe the Duke is using a patient of hers. The crown killer. Adermeyer. All right. I'll get inside. The crown killer has to be eliminated, and if the alchemist will cooperate, maybe I can learn something about what happened to Sokolov. Wish me luck. If you need my luck, Sokolov's as good as dead. When you get done at the Institute, disable the watchtower. Once it's down, I'll bring the boat around. We'll take the skiff to the shore when you're ready. Mortimer Ramsey. The Duke couldn't have pulled off the coup without someone inside the City Watch. I don't know Duke Luca Abel, but Corvo served under Luca's father. 
and said Theodanus was a good man. Delilah. My aunt, if that's really true. She has a twisted way of looking at the world. And the strange thing about it is um, that she took over and she didn't even she didn't even debate. Like, there wasn't like a it's pretty horrible the trial. They just immediately captured them. This Dr. Hypatia. She seems to represent the good that's possible within the Empire. It wouldn't surprise me if she's corrupt, but Okay, let's go for reading this. Um, chapter 4 introduction. This chapter will focus on Edithia? Edithia Abel, steward of uh, Colero. With sword in hand, she swept the marshes of raiders, sacrificing her life for Sakonos. It will provide newly uncovered insights into the exploits of Rabinos Abel, who built the ornate wooden bridges of Sugunto. Follow along as we map out the expansions occurring under the Abels for which trade routes to other isles were established, bringing riches to the nation-state. Even as, wolves, as waves of settlers continued to join Sakonis from Morley, the Abels balanced growth against Sakon, Sakon, Sakon and culture. I need to really get down pronouncing some of this stuff. It's like Game of Thrones. I'm trying to pronounce crazy names and, uh, you know. Okay, so in later chapters, we will detail the times of Theodanus Abel, true son of Sakonis. Brave and benevolent, he united against the e or he united the east and west as no other before him. Even the rowdy people of uh, Bastilin swore loyalty to him. One isle, one Sakonos, united under House Abel. Lastly, we will settle on Luca Abel, who rules today, partaking in feasts and merriments of all kinds, bringing joy to our fair isle. These are probably English words, but I am like. So, oh my death, read. You gotta understand, I, I did not like English at school. Anyway, so let's have a look at the rest of these so stuff. The crown killer was a tool of the Duke's coup. The murders had a calculated effect. Sokolov seems so much older now. To... It looks like the overland route to the Adermeyer Institute goes through the carriage station. How do you get Adermeyer? So, Adermeyer is like. Is that a central like castle area? I don't know if like there's a it shows where we are now. Um, I think I remember the fisheries. I'm not sure. Okay, it's kind of cool. Why is this here? It's Delilah. So she was probably had some influence before. Maybe some, you know, moderately famous. Always tinkering, painting, or living life with gusto. That's Sokolov. Okay, so we can open a door. I, don't, I think we can get outside. Where else are we supposed to go? Okay, yes. Yeah, so There was an upstairs. I still blocked. Okay. Let's check around here. I knew this would be like a separate room. We gotta get Luke, so we're gonna need stuff. All right. My reflection, reflection on my journey to the uh, Pandasen continent by Anton Sokolov. So, a, coll a colleague of mine owns a stunning map of the known world, adorned with uh, Hercules and sea beasts. As a cherished spot on her mantle, she paid handsomely for it, and was so bristled when I enumerated the various errors. Chief among them, of course, the size and placement of the uh, Pandasin continent. Uh, 
Oh, how cartographers are loath to show how small and distant our empire really is compared to that giant landmass. As if uh, Pandicia were just a few days' journey from our Aaron. Every veteran ship captain knows that it takes months to reach those shores. I had no doubt that Pandicia was rich in resources, but a place must be understood if we ever hope to exploit its myriad treasures. These were my thoughts as I agreed to join the ill-fated expedition, and so it was on the third day of the month of Earth, under calm grey skies, the great sea vessel Antonia Aquilo, to set sail with my captain, crew, researchers and myself, 38 of them, for what uh, would be the most terrifying and spiritually draining experience of my life. I mean, he chose to go, I guess. See, I don't know how we access. I don't know how we access. Uh... Oh, okay. So these are some kind of weird uh, blood bug things. That's gonna really like annoy me later on. I think we can smash the glass and get something here. So we'll probably do that. Uh, okay, yeah, the blood flies. Um, I wonder whether I have another book in me. The blood fly epidemic coupled with basic information on life cycle and behavior might make an excellent project for this old natural philosopher. Blood flies are exotic insects unlike anything else found in Sakonos. I suspect they originated on the uh, Pandasian content continent. In groups of three or fewer, they are harmless. Individuals won't attack, leading me to speculate that each emits a scent that has a collective effect on large numbers of blood flies. Blood flies are attracted to rapid movement and sound. Their nests can be broken apart, scattering the swarm. And in particular, the nests are quite susceptible to fire. The insects require fresh corpses to lay their eggs, which hatch in breathtaking fashion after a very short time. More corpses in a securing city. Say during a crisis or plague, mean more blood flies. Interestingly, the last part of blood flies' life cycle, they calm a great deal, leaving the swarm. They molt, causing the wings to drop off. Afterwards, each blood fly loses a solitary existence. Very odd. Blood flies are largely restricted to the south, preferring warmer climates, like certain <laughs> aging natural philosophers. So, they. I, it's kind of weird, like um, how video games do this. They, like, a, they have like a lot of like sort of um, parasite type things that um, gestate. The eggs gestate really quickly. It's kind of interesting what that they do, they do that because it's probably not that realistic for stuff to gestate that quick. It's a chance to the autograph. Or must I say, your Imperial Majesty? I have something that you and Corvo must hear at the first opportunity. It concerns the murders happening across the Empire committed by this so-called Crown Killer. When I left Gristone years ago, I swore I'd never again take part in any further political matters. I've done my share of bad things and some good before and after the Red Plague. But here in Karnaka, I've uncovered a terrible conspiracy against you. Here, at the bottom of the Empire, the cobblestones smell of death and corruption. I'm staying with an associate, Megan Foster, aboard her vessel, the Dreadful Whale. We'll leave for Dunwall in the morning, as soon as the tides are willing. I keep thinking of the way sweet Jessamine was stolen you and your father, and I fear it might be your turn to face such turmoil. I know Corvo would protect you with his life, but please do not trust anyone. There you are, old man. I was asked to pay you a visit. Wait, what's wrong with you? Not to lie. Megan! <clears throat> Off we go, Sokolov, to somewhere more private. Okay, that's that's weird. So I don't know if we have the capability to to, to deal with the blood flies. We're gonna say before we try and fight them. Okay, why can't old man enjoy his last years in a warmer climate? 
with good w- wines and spicy foods without stumbling into another nest of a- uh, astrococatic vipers eager to call around the heart of his empire. As I've learned more each week for months now, I found my mind turning, turning over the mo- movements beneath the surface here in K- Kanaka. Duke, Luca Le- Le- Abel, and some inner circle that even seems to cl- include Captain Montemont Ramsey of the Dunwall City Watch. A betrayal that boggles the mind. How many others are involved? They aim their venom at our dear Empress, young Emily. That much is certain, but when will they strike, and how? Do I dare spend another month gathering stray bits of es- esoteric information? No, esoteric information, linking it together with what we already know. Can we even afford another week? Or should Megan and I set out for Gristle tonight, taking this leaky tub through the canal? I'm pretty sure it's Megan, but oh well. Uh, Corvo will not hesitate. He'll act as soon as I hand over what I know, and if I'm too hasty, it might be his undoing. Coming home to this, this native Sakonas without some critical piece of knowledge about this affair. And then there's the crown killer to worry about. If that friend is part of Duke Abel's schemes, as I suspect, how long until the dreadful will catches the Duke's eye? Okay. So, so we're gonna save. And uh, I think we're gonna try for this. Wait, did it just kill them all? Okay, so we literally just got coins. That was a uh, relative down to one. So that's, that's the nest we need to look out for f- in the future. So yeah, right now I'm not sure how we're gonna get to the. Um... This is not bad. So you always gotta check this stuff because you never know. Example, a bit of a solution there that could save us at one point. So maybe this is songs means a day. Okay. Let's have, let's have a bit of a view. South, my father's birthplace. I heard a story once of a sailor caught forever in a fog. It traveled with her across all the seas. I am a sailor. It's kind of cool how it's shaped that way, like the mountains are shaped that way. That's pretty cool. All right, so there will come a time when we must part. I only tell you this in the hope to make easier our farewells. Let's try for this rune. Got it. Let's go up. So we can acquire powers. Let's have a look. Powers. Um, I'm not going to like read massively into these. So we have... Uh, throw objects farther. Increase your health and resistance. Lock to deflect projectiles. Okay, that's interesting. Increase your jump height and distance, that would be really useful. Uh, Shadow kill is actually really useful and, and, and um, when you if you're playing a lethal playthrough. 
but we're doing a non-lethal playthrough, so we're not going to get them getting this. But this is actually incredibly useful because you basically just ignore all the bodies. Um, So I don't know if we're going to need to craft any bone charms yet, so we'll leave that for now. Uh, we're not going to kill anyone, so yeah, we're probably going to not need to use that. Uh, Shadow Walk, yeah. So Shadow Walk is probably something that we're going to think we're going to get at some point uh, for this, because we need to get a stealth round. Domino Wall should be really nice. Um, so this basically allows you to do multiple takedowns, um, which I don't think you could have done in the first game. So this basically solves that problem. Doppelganger. That is pretty cool. Uh, that's pretty. That's pretty nice. Dark vision. So living beings, yeah, okay, dark vision is going to be really, really crucial for us to get. Um, pause the current rugged until it will show the direction of facing a few kinds of enemies and even enables you to see through walls, giving you situational as for ambush or sneaking through the area. Visual reputations of the sounds you make. I think this is going to be really important. And seeing better in darkness would be kind of nice. Security systems visible through walls. I think this, for, to use this, yeah, let's get this. Yeah, we definitely want that. So I'm not sure what, like, our... Can we... Okay, so we're supposed to board some sh oh, yeah, there we go. Is this it? I mean, it's not showing our... Like, where we're supposed to go. <laughs> We could just swim, but that's a long way to swim. I'm getting quite confused. Are we supposed to board something? Ah, uh, okay. That might that could be what money is supposed to board. Yeah, that makes sense. Ready for me to drop you at the docks. Let's go ready. see the streets where my father grew up. Off we go then. It won't do to be recognized. Okay. Find Adamir Station and take a carriage to Adamir Institute. It's the best lead you have for tracking down the Crown Killer. Um, and we've got quite a few of uh, help tips at the bottom. We have twenty-five. Um. Kanaka's carriage lines connects to the districts, granting passage to aristocrats and friends of... Yeah, so you have, there's like power lines, there's a lot more verticality in this game than in Dishonored 1. And we, could, we can use them to cross between buildings and stuff. Uh, checkpoints, uh, black market, stuff we know about, and... If workers see someone attacking the street, they, helped, they will help fight them back. So does that function like in... Assassin's Creed, where you have people who will help you. Sounds like it. I guess if they're oppressed by the guards and they will... See, it always skips really fast once it's loaded. But I think this is going to be a good time to finish up this episode. And, uh... Well, after this cutscene plays. Ooh, frame rate drop. Is it because of that moving? This is fine. And we move over here and we're getting a, ooh, that's a big frame rate drop. 
After Duke Luca Bell took over, okay, I think we're fine. He started He's probably just loading the something. Out of the city as fast as he could. Orgies and week-long feasts. We're having more fun here than we were in Dunwall, it seems. Watch yourself on the way to Adamar. The Duke's given the Grand I'll Guard run. Chill out a bit with the frame rate. The strangers get attacked on sight. I'll keep my head down. This is a good spot. Reach Adamire, take out the Crown Killer, and find out where Sokolov was taken. The alchemist, Hypatia. She'll help if she can. Sokolov likes her. I'll see you later at Adamire. Just wait to bring up the boat until after I've disabled the watchtower. And blood. Yeah, so in the game there's an effect called Chaos. And basically, as we kill enemies, or if we don't kill enemies, then if you basically if you kill enemies, then more enemies, uh, there's more guards, and there's more like rats and blood flies and all that kind of stuff. Like everything escalates uh, in general, so it makes the game harder. And so, in a set in early game, playing like uh, stealth is pretty hard but then later on in the game there's, when there's less when there's, the spaces are wider and there's less enemies it does make it quite a lot easier uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to finish, finish up this episode I hope you guys are enjoying the series so far uh, and yeah we'll, go, we'll see you in the next one actually blood pouring from the sewer wow see you in the next one have a good time